What's good with y'all, man? It's CTAZ. And today, we're going to be switching it up, man. And we got a tier list of all the current teams in Play Now Online. Hold up. Really quick, man. It is the Super Bowl today, man. We got the Niners and Chiefs going at it. And I want to know, man, drop your comment down below. Which team are y'all rocking with this evening? Because me personally, man, I don't even watch football like that. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm a casual. Boy, ain't no way, boy. But I'm going to have to go with the California team in the Niners. So if you enjoy the tier list, man, make sure you drop a like in the video and subscribe if you're new here. We're grinding to 20K every single day, y'all. And now let's hop right into it. Pest control, who call about rats? Who want to smoke with us? Who want to smoke with us? Who want to smoke with us? All right, y'all boys. So we got the Charlotte Hornets first up, man. A tier three team. And as of today, while I'm recording this, they did just trade away Gordon Hayward, who obviously was injury prone, but they also gave away a big piece in 2K in PJ Washington. So for me, he's obviously a stretch big, but I like to run him at the five sometimes, especially with Mark Williams injured. So, and without obviously PJ Washington, they are kind of struggling at the big men area. So I'm gonna have to put this team in. I was a lot higher on them for at least tier three standards. I'm gonna just be nice. And put them on the lower end of C tier. Next up, we got the Miami Heat, man. The thing I will say with this team is they have great defense, man. Because you have Bam Adebayo at your five. Who could literally guard one through five. Jimmy, obviously, who's a defensive demon. And then you have your two shooters in Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson. And they just acquired Scary Terry before the trade deadline. So that's another bucket. But me, preferably, if I had to pick a starting lineup, I wouldn't really put him in there. I'd use him more of a six man. I'd rather have Caleb because he's another big body that could also rebound. But I will say, man, this team, I don't know if they can really compete with S tier teams, you know, that are teams that are at the very top. They can definitely hold it down, though. So I'm going to definitely have to put them in A tier. We got the magic, man. Last year, real ones remember, we had the demigod magic. But obviously, RIP to Magic Bobo and Magic Mo Bamba, man. Those dudes are gone. So this demigod magic ain't the same. But you still have good, solid wing depth. You still have Paolo Bancaro. You still have Franz Wagner. And on top of that, you have J.I. A lot of people sleeping on J.I. and Jonathan Isaac, who's another 3 and D demon. So they're just missing that extra player in either Mo Bamba or Mo Bo. This is a team that has like four solid players. And then you're kind of searching for at least another fifth, you know, solid starter to, to run with that lineup, basically. But at the end of the day, man, they will have length and defense. I'm going to have to say, in my opinion, this is a B tier team. The Wizards, man. I don't know about this team, man, especially in real life in terms of their moves that they made before the trade deadline, man. They got rid of Gafford and I got rid of someone else, too. I cannot remember who it was uh, at the moment, but I'm looking at the roster, man. Like the five man lineup that I ran at least earlier this year when I used them for a gameplay was Kyle Kuzma, Jordan Poole, Corey Kispert, Bala Kulabali, and then their center they just traded away in Daniel Gafford, man. That was obviously a big piece for them. He is hooping for the Mavericks, speaking of Daniel Gafford, but they got rid of their center and they have to, looks like they really all only just have Marvin Bagley, who's obviously an L. Yeah, this team is definitely not up there. I'm going to have to go with F tier, man. Like It's either very low end D tier or high end F tier. I'm going to have them as of right now, F tier, and then we'll see later as the video goes on if we need to move them up. The Nuggets, man. The Nuggets. So, all right. Hear me out, y'all. Hear me out. A lot of y'all probably think S tier, but I'm going to go A tier, and here's why. Nikola Jokic is not as good as he is in 2K as he is in real life. The reason being and he is he's just slow. Like, a lot of people can really just take advantage of him in the pick and roll or even just playing fast. If you have a big man that can just run the floor, outrun him, he's going to get tired throughout the game and he's not going to run back as fast as the other big men. Let's say even a guy like Bam out of bio. So you're going to give up a lot of just fast break points to either the center or whoever's just running down the floor. So and then that pick and roll too, like I said, is going to be tough if they just call pick and roll spam it because Nikola Jokic cannot move his feet on the perimeter. So he's a liability on defense. And on top of that, you have slow releases surrounding him. Nikola Jokic himself has a slow release. Jamal Murray has a slow release. Aaron Gordon has a slow release. The only really fast release on this team is KCP. He's a bucket. Don't get me wrong. He's a demon. Like he has a nice behind the back sig. And MPJ also has good height and length. He's 6'10". They can shoot the ball. His release too is not really as fast, you know, as you would want it to be. So, and if I'm running this team in a comp setting, like in a tournament where there's money on the line, I've seen this team get exposed. So 
this Denver team is definitely not S tier. If you're really running up against comp, this is an A tier team. All right, here's another one where it might be controversial for y'all, man. Some of y'all might have them in S tier. I have the OKC Thunder in A tier. And here's why again. If we look at their lineup, man, you have SGA, obviously a bucket. Chet Holmgren, great center, can stretch the floor and play defense. Now we have J-Dub and Josh Giddy, who have great size, you know, 6'5 and 6'8 for both of them. But their releases are slow as hell, man. So J-Dub can shoot. Josh Giddy is, you know, streaky or whatever we want to call it. But the releases just kind of hold it back for me. So, but for me, this team, man, if you're running up against an S, a real S-tier team, this team has its flaws. It's just like I said, their releases kind of similar to the Nuggets. I will say their defense is probably better than the Nuggets because you have Chet Holmgren who can cover a lot of ground. He has good lateral quickness and obviously he's a lot faster than Nikola Jokic and he has a much better release, I would say in my opinion. So this team though, I don't know if I really, really want to be picky and put the certain order of this, I'll do it like this. I'll have Miami down here. And if I had to pick, man, I'm going to just go with the safe pick and go with the Nuggets right here and have the thunder right behind them all right next up we have the portland trailblazers man if i'm looking at their roster their lineup the five guys i would run as my starters probably be simons we'll go jeremy grant deandre ayton that's three right there i don't like scoot henderson i'm not gonna lie he's a small guard a little bit undersized that can't really shoot i love matisse Thybul. that'd be my fourth and then my fifth player would be shaden sharp who is injured right now but that's a nice decent lineup I would definitely pick this team over the Wizards any day of the week. And when I actually look at it, y'all, now that I'm thinking about it, looking back at it because of the Charlotte Hornets, I might actually have to move this team to C tier, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. If I'm, like, running up against these two teams, Portland could really just hang in there with the Hornets with the loss of P.J. Washington. So, And this team might even be ahead, but I'll just give LaMelo the benefit of the doubt and put them above Portland in C tier. All right, next up, we have the Utah Jazz, man. So I'm looking at their roster one player that I was looking for that uh, was decent for me, at least in terms of being a 3 and D type of player, was I think his name was Ochai Abaji or something like that. And it, I, I guess they traded him. But I mean, they got some decent or not even decent, some mid wings. They have Otto Porter Jr. and Kevin Knox, who are obviously buns in real life. But in 2K, you know, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, guys that can shoot the ball and kind of defend on the perimeter. You definitely like to have those. But the team that or the thing that this team is missing is guard play. Like Colin Sexton cannot shoot very well. He has an 81 three ball, but it's like his release is terrible. And then Jordan Clarkson too, like he's only 6'3". And I mean, in real life, he used to be a really tough bucket. Um, and then even in 2K, like he's kind of hard to use in that same way. So I would say the thing that this team is missing is just really their, their guards. So if they had better guards, they'd be much higher in this list. But because of that lack of thereof, I'm about to put them in D tier. All right, next up, Golden State, man. Another team I'm going to have to throw into tier A. And I'm going to actually put this team higher and I'm going to put them in A tier. Now, here's why. You still have the Splash Bros, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson IRL, we all know he has been struggling crazy. But in 2K, he is still that 3 and D that you would want on your team, like 89 three ball. And then if we look at Steph Curry, 99 three ball. So and Steph Curry, if you know how to just dribble just a little bit and just three hunt around screens, he is still going to be him on the offensive side. So the only problem that I have this with this team and I have them in A tier is because for me, a team in S tier is a team that has five players that can all hold it down basically on both sides of the ball. If I'm looking at this Warrior squad and you want to run a lineup with Steph Curry, Draymond, Clay Thompson, Wiggins is for sure your four. You can go small with Kuminga, but the problem with Kuminga, if you haven't shot with him, you will see why I'm what I'm talking about with his release. It is so bad. Like if you leave him open, more than half, often or not, he's going to miss that shot. So if I'm playing against a Warriors user that's comp, I'm going to make him have to shoot outside shots with Kuminga and leave him open and bake that shot. You know what I mean? So that's the problem with this Warriors team, man. They have four very solid players in Steph Curry, Draymond. You can hold it down defensively. Klay Thompson, two-way player. And then Andrew Wiggins, who I'm a big fan of in 2K. He's a two-way player. The problem is they're just missing that fifth piece. And here we go with the Clippers, our first S tier team of our list today, man. The reason I have this team in S tier is because they have multiple 3 and D players that are actually hoopers. Like they're not just spot up shooters. They can go and make you make a play and get you a bucket in Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. So they're both obviously 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, you still have James Harden who can still move decently in 2K. He has 86 three ball. And he's 6'5", so he has some height. And then the fourth player you definitely want to throw into this lineup. He don't play at all in real life, but in 2K, he got to play because of his release. 
and it's pj tucker man that dude is a sniper so you can go two ways you can put him at the five and go small or you can put him at the four and then run Daniel Tice at the five, who can also kind of shoot three. If you don't go Daniel Tice, you can go Westbrook and go, you know, small, but everyone's fast and can defend. The only problem with Westbrook is obviously his jumper is not very good. It's slow and he only has a 69 three ball. So this team, though, for sure can hang in there and compete with the best of them. And I have this team as S tier. All right. So next up, we have the Minnesota Timberwolves, man. So this team is definitely intriguing because in real life, they're the number one team in the West. But in 2K, man, they are not S tier. I'm going to have to put this team, honestly, in A tier. And if I'm deciding the placement where exactly I want to put them, I'm going to probably put them right in between Thunder and the Miami Heat. And here's why. You have two bigs in Towns and Gobert. Towns is a bucket IRL. He can shoot threes, 87 three ball, all-star this year and all that well, great stuff. But the problem is his release is slow. So it's baited. And then you have Gobert. Like he's great defensively, but he is not very fast and he cannot shoot the ball at all. So it just really comes to play style. Me personally, you know, I love my shooters. I love to have five out spacing. So Gobert definitely compromises that at the end of the day. So it's tough, man. If I had to pick a lineup with this team, it's going to be Edwards, Towns, Mike Conley, Nas Reed, and McDaniels. So those are my two flaws for this team, man. Gobert can't shoot, and Mike Conley is a under very, very undersized guard for NBA standards. So everyone else outside of that, though, is great. Like, Edwards is great. They just got to fix his face scan. Towns, though, his release is a little bit on the slower side. And then Nas Reed can stretch the floor just a little bit. 83 three ball, but release is on the slower side. And McDaniels, terrific, terrific 3 and D player. You definitely want to put him on ball. And then either Anthony Edwards or Mike Conley on the second guard. But with that being said, man, I have this team in A tier. Next up, Celtics, man, Celtics. This team is definitely going to go in S tier. I'm going to put them above the Clippers because they have better bigs that can stretch the floor. Now, here it is. They have Porzingis, 7'2". He should be 7'3", I feel like. But anyway, 7'2". The OG unicorn, man, that could shoot the ball at that height, man. And he's pretty mobile. And then you still have Jason Tatum, obviously their best player. Jalen Brown, a very solid 3 and D in 2K. And you have now Drew Holiday and Derek White, who aren't the tallest, but they aren't undersized either. Like Drew Holiday, 6'5". This whole time, I thought he was like 6'3", 6'4". And Derek White, 6'4". I like Derek White's release a lot. And he has an 85 three ball. Drew Holiday, 85 three ball. So all of them have high three-point ratings. And you still have Al Horford that you could plug into the lineup if you want to go a little bit bigger, but, you know, much slower, which I probably preferably wouldn't do. So with that said, man, that's why I have this team above the Clippers in S tier. Next up, we have the Phoenix Suns, man. And this is where I'm going to place them. I'm going to put them right below the Clippers. And here's why. Let's talk about it. They have KD, Devin Booker, Brad Beal, Bol Bol. Those are the four main guys I would use. And then if I want to go one of two ways, if I want to go small and have more spacing, it'd be Royce O'Neal. I would just have to tap into his release and see if I like it enough. Or if I want to just go big and have good defense and rebounding, it would be Yusuf Nurkic. Now, here's the flaws of this team. Obviously, offensively, KD and Devin Booker is going to literally do everything for you. You want to run your offense through them, pick and roll plays, all that good stuff through them. Bradley Beal is going to be more of a just a secondary ball handler, maybe even third behind KD. And his release is a little bit on the slower side. If you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go Go shoot with this dude. You'll see what I mean. It is much slower than a guy like D-Books. Now, here's the lineup that I was talking about earlier. If you want to run Royce O'Neal, like I said, he's 6'6", 81 three ball. I don't know about his release, though. And then Nurkic is very slow, but I've actually come to realize Nurkic can shoot the ball if he's wide open. So if you want to run Nurkic, it just be a little bit on the slower side with him and Bobo. The only problem is getting back on defense will be a struggle. But the main thing I have them under these two teams in the Clippers and the Celtics is they're missing a 3 and D. Because if they had a 3 and D that was 6, 7, 6, 8, then, man, this team might have been the best team in the game. But, unfortunately, that's not how it played out. So, this is why I have this team below those two teams in S tier. The B team, y'all. Y'all know, man, the favorite, my favorite team. It's obvious. They're going to go here. Nah, I'm yeah. with y'all. We're going to have to realistically go here, B tier. And it's literally just like IRL, man. They are a great offensive team, man. You have De'Aaron Fox, Kevin Herter, and you can have Malik Monk if you want to go small. If not, you can go with the basic starters in Harrison Barnes, Keegan Murray, and DeMontis Sabonis. And it's their defense. Like, it's just obvious. They don't have an on-ball primary defender that you can count on to lock up the other team's best player. In real life, this team puts Keegan Murray on ball. And don't get me wrong, he's gotten better. But in 2K, he's only a 78 perimeter defender. 
And then his lateral quickness is only a 79. So that makes Fox their best on-ball defender. And he's only 6'3". And like, you don't want him to get so gassed out and tired on defense because then on offense, he's not going to really be able to do as much as you would want him to. So that's really the main thing. Like if this team just had better defense, better wings, like what I've been as a Kings fan asking for in our GM, but you know, they still want to keep HB for whatever reason. They're going to always be mid. So I have this team as a higher B tier team. Like if you can, you, this team could definitely compete with some of those A tier teams. But when it comes to S tier, by the time you get to the fourth quarter, man, they're going to get exposed on the defensive side. Dallas, same thing, man. They're an offensive team. I'll put them higher because, you know, Luka and Kyrie is much better than uh, Fox and whoever you want and some bonus, I guess. But the Mavericks are missing some wing depth. Like you have to depend on THJ, who's only 6'5". Derek Jones Jr. is only 6'6", and his release is not really the best, and he only has a 78 three ball. And then Josh Green, who's their best perimeter defender, and but he only has a 79 three ball, and he has Luka's release, which is very slow. So you really got to just depend on offense for to use this team properly and try to win games. And, you know, you definitely want to get have a team that has some players that can get you a stop. And this team, when I'm looking up and down and using them from experience, just does not have that. So this team, similar to the Kings, just slightly better because they have slightly better guards. Um, have them in B tier. Grizzlies, man, Grizzlies, they are down bad. Desmond Bain, Marcus Smart, John Moran, Steven Adams is not even on this team anymore. Brandon Clark, Zaire Williams, all of their main players gone. Their only main player that's still available really in 2K at least is Jaron Jackson I, and I guess Aldama because he does start. So yeah, this team, man, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to put this team. I'll throw this team in D tier because Jaron Jackson, serviceable, Aldama, Luke Kennard, that's three solid players. Uh, Yuta Watanabe, three and D. GG Jackson, I haven't really tapped into. John Conchar. So this team is just missing a guard, obviously. Obviously, we know John Moran is hurt. So I'm gonna have to put this team. I'll actually probably put them higher. Like if I had to choose between these two, I'll definitely pick Grizzlies any day. Pelicans, man. Pelicans, an interesting, very interesting team, man. Because you can go small and put Zion at the five, or you can go big and put him at the four and put Valanciunas at the five. So the problem with that big lineup though is Valanciunas. He is very spotty, very streaky. He has an 81 three ball, but his release is just kind of hard to time, at least for me. And then same thing with Zion, man. Like not really a good floor spacer, so. You want to run the play style that I play at with five out and a lot of spacing. Those two guys definitely hurt it. So I would definitely have to, they cannot go S tier. I'm going to put this team in A tier, but I'm trying to just figure out their placement. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to actually move the Miami Heat higher, but the Wolves are slightly under them and then put the Pelicans right below them as well. So like I said, they have poor, not poor, but mid floor spacing with those two guys in the game. But you have great wing depth in Brandon Ingram, Herb Jones, and Trey Murphy and you can run all three of them with those two bigs that I just mentioned and take out CJ McCollum if you want problem is you know you don't really have a guy that can just create off the dribble as as good as CJ can because CJ small guards can just move so well off of screens but you can make it work with Brandon Ingram if you wanted to as a 6-8 point guard um, and have very good defense but just a little bit lacking of playmaking so let's pick your poison at that point like I said those are the main six players I would run if I'm using this team and like I said, it's just the floor spacing for me that keeps this team out of S tier. The Spurs, man, we have the 7-4 Unicorn Alien, and he's now an 88 overall in 2K. And Victor Wembanyama, man, it's crazy that this dude is that high already. But hey, I'm not complaining, man. I, I'm all here for it. So Wembanyama, Vassell, Keldon Johnson is the three guys I would run. Jeremy Sohan, because he's versatile. And Zach Collins, because he's a stretch big. So... Yeah, and oh, it's, this team just added Marcus Morris Sr. So he can shoot the ball. And I was a big fan of him in the when he was on the Clippers a couple years ago. So this team outside of Wembenyama, obviously not very solid. Uh, except for Devin Vassell, I really like his jumper and his player ability, 6'5". Uh, they just don't really have a true point guard that can play make for you and just run around screens and get the offense going, really. So if I have to put this team somewhere, I'm going to actually put this team. I think they can compete in B tier. Uh, I probably put them right here though, just because of the lack of, I guess, talent surrounding Webb and Yama. Like if I'm looking at Sacramento, they have more. I'm gonna put this team here just because Magic have more depth, um, and Webb and Yama is really your only usage. So I'm gonna put this team at the very lowest end of B tier. Next up, man, this is by far the best team in 2K24 playing online, and it's always because LeBron, man, 2K be glazing LeBron. But in two, in terms of 2K, man, LeBron and AD will always have two of the best animations in the game. In terms of defense, getting fluke stops, and on offense, just going to the rim and rim running and mashing your way to the rim, 
and they can still shoot the three ball decently fair enough like ad has a fair release lebron still has his normal release and you have a lot of shooters surrounding them that could play defense you have rui hachimura who's six eight quick release you have torian prince who's six six that can shoot the three ball and has a great release and then you have vanderbilt who's obviously just got hurt recently but he's a very solid defender and cam reddish who is another solid three and d in 2k but irl's not very good and then my favorite one of my favorite players to use on this team defensively not very the best but offensively he goes crazy and it's austin reeves if you don't use austin reeves with this team man i messed up not using him earlier in the year i was using cam reddish and i regret it because austin reeves can get you a bucket man his release is so fast and easy to time he can fade left and right off of screens and he's 6'5 so he can hold it down fair enough for you on the defensive side just because of his height so this team by far man is the best team to use and play it all online next up we have the new york knicks man so this team made some trades recently some more moves and it's solid pickups like they picked up bogdanovich boyan bogdanovich that is but the main guys i would use obviously is brunson og Ananobu, who's currently injured mitchell robinson if you want to have good defensive rebounding dante divincenzo and julius randall so the thing with this team is their spacing kind of reminds me of the pelicans you're right you have julius randall who's not the best floor spacer and then you have mitchell robinson if you run him who cannot shoot the ball at all outside so kind of like a rudy gobert type of player but if you want to go small you can go randall at the five now the problem with that though is randall is obviously not very good defensively inside the paint and he's not the tallest big either if you want to run him at the five he only, he's only six eight so yeah that's the thing i that's the thing i have the problem i have with this team man is their bigs isn't to my play style but Jalen brunson absolute bucket just a little undersized 6-2 Devin chinzo solid 3 and d type of player og ananobi perfect 3 and d player man put him on the ball if i'm gonna rank this team though i'm gonna have to rank them in b tier i'm not gonna hold y'all and it's actually on the higher side between mavericks or below mavericks they have better defense but slightly worse or worse offense but i'm gonna pick i'm gonna pick with the mavericks i'm not gonna hold y'all so i'm gonna have to put this team in b tier uh right below the mavericks houston Rockets, man a big pickup in fred van fleet this offseason he changed the dynamic of their team dylan brooks as well you know they got their three and d player that you know every team needs at least one of so yeah man if i'm looking at this team i just did a, a game play on fred van fleet not too long ago and drake's twin and the lineup I was running with was Shangun, Van Fleet, Jalen Green, Dylan Brooks, and Jabari Smith, which is their five default starters, I believe, because this is their highest rating players. The only problem I have with this team, Fred Van Fleet undersized, Jalen Green undersized, Jalen Green's release is not the fastest. Dylan Brooks, perfect in his role, three and D. Jabari Smith Jr., perfect in his role. Shangun, literally like his nickname that I've been calling him all year. Baby Jokic, very slow, uh, but he can stretch the floor, you know, that five out spacing which i like with this team now i'm gonna put this team in b tier and i'm gonna put them above the kings because they have dylan brooks which is crazy to say in real life but in 2k this dude is a three and d like the kings don't have that you know hb and king and murray they're not defenders kevin Hurd, not a defender like can't depend on fox to have to guard the other team's best guard so and y'all saw i was in a cup game using this rockets team and beat a golden state user with dylan brooks on steph curry just being a menace on him all game so that's where i have them right below the knicks i might even move them up just because i don't want to have that recency bias uh let's see i'm trying to think i'm trying to actually yeah i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go here not above the mavericks but i'm gonna have them above the new york knicks in terms of playing out online all right the 76ers man we got philly in the building let's just assume Embiid is back or once he's back you're gonna run Embiid with this team Tyrese Maxey who Tyrese I'm not a big fan of because he's undersized and his release just has that weird hitch to it man like why can't you just make it quicker 2k Tobias Harris I'm a big fan of in 2k is a quick release 3 and D and then outside of them three I'm definitely going Buddy Heald he's a sniper they just picked him up right at the trade deadline he has such a nice quick release, easy to time, 88 three ball two. And looking down at the roster, once he comes back, I'm going Rocco, man, another solid three and D player. If not, you can go really, really big with Mo Bamba because he can shoot the three and he has a fair enough release, easy to time. So those are the six players I would really pick and choose from if I'm running a lineup. The problem with this team, like, I, like I'm going to say right now, is Tyrese Maxey, man. He is so good in real life. But 2K just don't got him right, in my opinion, in 2K, man. Like, speed up his jumper, and he would be so much nicer, man. So, because of that, I'm going to have to put this team in A tier. But Embiid is so tough to guard. 
that I'm gonna actually put them pretty high. I think I gotta put them under the Thunder just because Thunder have better guard play. And I think Chet Holmgren could really hold it down. I'm gonna put him there just for the safe spot. Right below Thunder and right above Miami Heat. All right, now we got the Toronto Raptors. And initially I'm thinking C or B, but let me look at, take a closer look at their roster real quick on 2K. In my opinion, after the trades, they got worse in 2k because i'd rather have og ananobi in my opinion he's just so good at what he does in his role um, but the guys i would use man is scotty barnes rj barrett quickly because of his release and i'd probably go kelly olenic because he can shoot the ball 6 11 at 85 three ball but you know looking at that five man lineup very very mid scotty barnes release is very slow i'm gonna have to put this team in b tier and i'm gonna put them actually a little bit higher than the magic they're either here or here i just can't decide where i want to go i might actually put them here man i'm not gonna hold y'all the magic boys have a special place in my heart so i'm gonna have to put raptors right there in b tier next up we have the chicago bulls man man it's sad the way i'm gonna have to place this team because they have literally three starters that are injured in Lonzo Ball, Pat Williams, and Zach Levine. So you only have DeMar DeRozan who could really make plays with the ball. And I guess Kobe White. Caruso is a very good defender, spot up shooter. Vucevic a spot up stretch five. Outside of that, like you can go Tory Craig, I guess, for some size, some some three and D. Or you can go Drummond, but I don't like having, you know, a, sh a big that can't shoot in the game. So yeah, man, this is a team that has four players really that I like. The fifth player I'm kind of just searching for. I'd probably go very low end of B tier as of right now. I'd rather use women. Yeah, but man, yeah. So I'm going to go here at the very lower end. They might even be at the at the beginning. Let's just put them in C tier. I'm going to put them at the start of C tier, man. Next, we have the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. Last time I checked on this team, they won like 16 of their last 17 games. So in, in real life, they've been hooping. But in 2K, let's get into it, man. They are a solid team in 2K. As of right now, initially as it stands, I have them in either B, high B or low A probably high b uh let's look closer though donovan mitchell only 6-3 garland only 6-1 so already defensively you have no size uh in the backcourt but in the front court you have great size in mobley and, and jerry allen but you give up shooting man because their three ball is only in the 60s so and releases aren't the best and then you can either go with lavert or max juice or both of them if you want to take out you know one of the two bigs not really you know one of my favorite teams to run mitchell is very nice he has he gets very nice dunk animations and he can shoot the three ball very well Garland can shoot the three ball. Max Schroes can shoot the three ball. And then I, if you want to leave out Levert, then you go two bigs. It just sacrifices your floor spacing a bit. Um, so yeah, with that said, I have them in B tier. I'm going to put them right here. I'm going to go offense more than defense in the Mavericks still. Next up, man, we have the worst team in the league in the Detroit Pistons. So Kane just came back recently. I know he was injured for a cool minute. Jalen Duran, who's solid in real life, just 2K, not very good because he can't shoot the ball. Jaden Ivey, who's solid, just, you know, can't shoot as well, very well. 74 three ball. Asara Thompson, too. He only has a 49 three ball, man, but he's great on defense, man, and getting to the rim. He's 6'6". Six, six, so, yeah, and outside of that, man, they traded all their wings that could shoot, man. They had Bogdanovich and they had Alec Burks, who they don't both have anymore. The, t the thing with this team that they're lacking is obviously wing dip and then another better guard i would say and then a stretch five in my opinion if you know this team really wants to compete up there with the best of them so yeah this team's gonna have to go c tier i'm gonna have to go right here man i'm gonna put them at the very end of c tier in 2k playing online we have four teams left in our first official tier list ranking and they're all from the eastern conference so let's get right into it man with the pacers my boy tyrese halliburton's team man so as y'all should know by now Ali's release holds him back. Should just if, if it was just a little faster, man, he would be so nice. But they did pick up Siakam, who's huge for them. You have Miles Turner, stretch five, perfect for my type of play style. Benedict Matherin, who I like, because he's 6'5. He has a quick, fairly decent enough release. Obi Toppin as well, who's solid. And so outside of those guys, Halliburton, Siakam, Miles Turner, Benedict Matherin, and Obi Toppin. Those are what six players that I just mentioned. Or no, five players that I just mentioned. That's who it was. They just got rid of Buddy Heald, man, who was a big piece for me, at least when using this team. So they're missing their sniper, man. So this team definitely fell down in the rankings for me before the trade. Yeah, man. So if I had to put this team somewhere, it'd be B tier. I put them over the Cavs. I would put them for sure under the Mavs. I have them over the Cavs, though, man. I'm going to put them right below the Cavs, man, just because the Cavs have better offense. Looking at this team, man. Halliburton, slow release. Siakam, slow release. Miles Turner, fine. Benedict, fine. And Toppin, fine. Like, there's no, like, Buddy Heald type 
type of shooter you know what i mean like i'm trying to look for their shooter let's see who would it be doug mcdermott his release is slow in 2k so yeah man that's the problem this team they're missing shooters next up we have the atlanta hawks man they're literally the definition of mid don't get me wrong trey young is great on offense but a liability on defense Dejounte murray solid on defense kind of a catch and shooter on offense bogdanovich a sniper deandre hunter like a three and d i guess and then you can go Jalen Johnson if you want. I don't know about his release, though. And then you want Click Capella, but the problem is Click Capella's hurt right now. So Okongwu is going to have to hold it down. And, you know, he's not as, you know, strong as I feel like Capella is in, uh, in terms of at least ratings, rebounding, and defensive-wise. And outside of those guys, really, like, I'm not a fan of DeJounte Murray in 2K. Like, his release, just like in IRL, I feel like they're not a good match or a good, you know, fit in 2K. So with this team, man, I'm going to say mid. They're B tier. I'd probably put them right below the Sacramento Kings, man. Next up, man, second to last, the Milwaukee Bucks, man. This team is goaded, man. I've seen this team used in comp setting, man, used the right way. This team, in my opinion, can definitely be actually be here if they wanted to, you know, right here, the best team. But me personally, man, I'm about to put them right here, right behind the Lakers, because I just feel like I use this team better. But overall, I've seen comp players use this team and win big money with the Bucks. So let's look at the lineup people usually use. It's obviously going to be Giannis, Damian Lillard, Chris Middleton. And here's where some people mix it up. You have Brooke Lopez. Some people don't start him. Some people do start him. People definitely have Bobby Portis because he can stretch the floor. And then if you want to go small, you can go Jay Crowder, who can also shoot the ball with a fairly easy release of time. So it's really pick and choose. You know, you give up defense at that point, though, inside the paint. But you still have Giannis, you know what I mean? So it's just a preference thing. I like the Lakers more in terms of just their players, their releases. But I've come across Bucks Cup users that, you know, have beaten me with this team. And so I've literally seen it with my own eyes. This team is definitely one of the top two teams, if not could possibly be argued the top team in 2K this year. The Nets, man, the Nets. I feel like I'm pretty high on this team compared to other people in general. And it's because they have a lot of versatile players. So Cal Bridges, on-ball defender by far, 6'6", will clamp up the other team's best guard. Nicholas Claxton, if he just had a slightly better three ball, man, he would be so good for this team because he's good defensively, rebounding wise as well, but he only has a 64 three ball. In 2K23, his release was serviceable. This year, you leave him wide open, he's going to probably miss it. So that's my problem so far. And the thing, too, that I'm really harping on for him to shoot is because I love using Ben Simmons. He's 6'10 as a point guard. You have to play him, but he can't shoot at all. So you need a stretch center. And Nicholas Claxton just isn't there yet in his career. So those are the three guys I would use so far. On top of Cam Johnson, 6'8 sniper. And probably Dorian Finney-Smith, who's another 3 and D player. So all of those players have length, can play defense, can kind of shoot, with the exception of Ben Simmons and Claxton. If Claxton could just shoot... This team would be damn near A tier. But because of that, man, I'm going to have to put them in B tier. And if I'm going to choose, I'm going to honestly pick this team. It's really offense or defense. Like, do you want Mavericks or do you want defense? Because I think this team's better than the Cavs if used right. I'm just really trying to think, man. This year, though, I feel like mashing isn't as rewarded as much. You know, driving to the paint, trying to just get a, a mismatches at the rim. So I'm going to put them still below the Mavericks. And that will officially end our first tier list of Plano Online this year. But all right then, y'all, that is going to wrap it up for this tier list video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Now, if you want to see me use Drake's twin in a sweaty gameplay, make sure you click this top video right here. It literally went down to the last shot, but I'll catch y'all there.